Every element of the classic 1940s Hollywood film noir is to be found in Chinese director Diao Yilin's thriller Wild Goose Lake. The central character is a doomed fugitive hunted by both the police and by his criminal associates. There's a femme fatale who may or may not be trusted. There are flashbacks, chases and gun battles in rain-soaked back alleys. Cigarettes are lit with old-fashioned lighters. There are shadows galore. Visually, the film, which is set in the city of Wuhan, is most impressive. Just out of prison, Chu checks into a seedy hotel that serves as headquarters for small-time thieves who have been given a lesson in how to steal motorbikes. There's a dispute over territory that turns violent, and during the affray, Zhu accidentally shoots a cop. He's now a wanted man. The plot of the film is simple enough, though it's not always easy to work out which are the cops and which are the crooks, since they all seem to dress and behave alike. Certainly the film paints a bleak image of the underbelly of urban China, where crimes of all sorts flourish and where the police are as violent as the villains. Liu, it seems, is a prostitute, euphemistically called a bathing beauty, whose beat is the shore of the lake that gives the film its title. The sex in the film is as rough as the violence, and the unfortunate Zhu cops many a beating and worse during the course of this beautifully made movie. Watch out for the scene with the umbrella. I'm going to argue it's like three and a half stars. Mm-hmm.